I was originally diagnosed in 2008. Vertigo was my very first symptom. Yeah, and that was really the only thing I dealt with, the vertigo. So I went to an ENT. He said, probably nothing going on here, but let's just make sure. So I went and had an MRI. There were some enhancements there, lesions. Mm -hmm. And uh, then they verified everything through a spinal tab. Uh, in 2008, I would have been 31. I could tell my disease was progressing around 2013. I was dealing with uh, not only the vertigo, but then optic neuritis and a little bit of numbness in my left arm and left leg. Uh, so I got online and just started doing some research and um, man came across you guys and, and uh, got in touch with everybody at the office. Everybody was super nice, super easy to pull information from. And then at that point in time, you know, I was, was fortunate enough to set up my first visit. Uh, first time I came down, uh, the setup was, it was really simple. I mean, it was simple. Uh, I'm from Nashville, Tennessee. I flew over to San Diego, uh, stayed there on a Friday night. The team picked me up early Saturday morning. Uh, brought me down to the facility. It was seamless, easy, no issues at all. Got here and then, uh, man, the, the place is comfortable. The rooms are comfortable. The procedure is easy, no issues at all. Uh, and then when I got back home to Nashville, about, I'd say about two weeks later, uh, my optic neuritis started improving dramatically. So I've been fortunate enough that because of the therapy, it haven't gotten worse. And uh, so I, I always notice an uptick in my, in just the brightness and the clarity of my vision afterwards and so after that first time got back like I said pretty early on maybe that's two weeks tops I started to see a significant change in my vision mm -hmm. I've had uh, at least two MRIs every year since then and um, you know it, it's been amazing every doctor that I go to uh, they always say man we love to see you coming in because you're the only patient we have that's not progressing so if you look at an MRI of mine from 2013 to 2019, they would say no progression. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so extremely fortunate, blessed, feel great about that. So I've had some shrinking in my lesions. So, you know, they, they measure the lesions, mm -hmm. um, you know, on your MRI and mm -hmm. yeah, my lesions are actually diminishing, which is really, yeah, great news. Yeah, and as far as the treatment goes, as far as people with MS and, and my personal experience, I would recommend it to anybody. I give all the credit to the treatments. I don't feel like I've, I've progressed at all in that regard. From 31 to 42 years old, I'm just as healthy. I feel better, if, if anything. And so, yeah, I would recommend the treatments to everybody and actually have recommended the treatments to a lot of people just because I, I'm a huge believer that this is what is keeping me healthy and feeling well. And I've had uh, several people in my company I've recommended this to. I uh, actually have one on this visit with me as well. Uh, but uh, rheumatoid arthritis uh, is, is uh, one of the females that came with me has that. Um, another gentleman with MS in the company uh, has also down with me on this visit as well. So yeah, I keep recommending it to people in the company. We have several people in the company that have diabetes, rheumatoid arthritis, one other one with MS. So all the people with autoimmune or anything else, I, I'm telling them to come down there. And I'm hoping to bring my mom on the next visit. She's got rheumatoid arthritis as well. Yeah. So I'd like to bring her down.